Hi, welcome to my roundup of the 10 most popular videos on the channel for 2021. For people who are new to the channel, you are very welcome, and hopefully this video will give you a flavour of the sort of content I cover. For existing viewers, this video will hopefully highlight some potentially interesting videos that you may have missed first time out. Same as last year, all videos on the channel are ranked based on the viewing statistics for the calendar 2021, and the ranking is based on a normalised combination of the total views, number of likes, and the average percentage viewing time for each video. While well, it's great to have loads of views on a video, I see the likes and viewing time as key indicators as to how much people enjoyed or got something out of the video. The outcome here is totally driven by you, the viewers to the channel. Before we get going on the top 10, I want to call out a number of honourable mentions that figure just outside the top 10. We have four of these this year. These videos sit on their own, just under the top 10 and ahead of the rest of the chasing pack. The first of these is a video I did on removing traction tyres from the Hornby R3215 Class 373 Eurostar. It was one of the few truly hands-on videos I did this year and I've noticed its popularity in terms of creating future content like this. The end result was very satisfactory and I'll be looking to do a rinse and repeat on the other Hornby high-speed models that are stricken with traction tyres as well. Next up is the review I did on the Hornby R3685 Class 43 HST in the Great Western Railway livery. If this video had been posted earlier in the year, I'm sure it would have ranked in the top 10, but I'm happy to note it here as it was a really nice model and one of my favourite HSTs now. My next honourable mention is a review video of the Backman 32 740SF, which was a Class 66 in the GBRF BR large logo livery that has been very popular with modelers. This video has only been edged out of the top 10 in the last few weeks by some other popular videos that were released later in the year. Again, a popular video of a very nice model that is worthy of mention. Last on the honourable mentions list is another Hornby model review, this time of the R3514, Great Western Railway Class 800 5 car set. I really like this model and similar to the GWR Class 43, I'm sure this video would have made the top 10 if it had been released earlier in the year. If you want to get an idea of what the upcoming Azumas from a Hornby are going to be like, then this is a good video to give you a preview. Okay, now it's time to get into the top 10 itself. At number 10 is a somewhat surprise entry in the form of a review of the Hornby R3574 Class 67 in the DB Schenkner Red livery that it did late in the year and hence it didn't have a large viewing base as many other videos below it. People seem to like and watch this video through to the end which is why it has made the list here. The fact that this model has been on offer recently has probably also helped with the viewing stats on this particular video. At number 9 is another surprise entry in the form of the 2020 running session video of the Backman 31041 Class 450 four car EMU in the Southwest Trains livery. This video was also number 9 on last year's top 10 list and just seems to have an ongoing appeal as people seem to really like this model. It's interesting to note that the Backman Class 450s were plagued by an excessively high price when first introduced, so this model took a long time to sell out. At this point, these models are like gold dust now and very difficult to find. At number 8 is the review video of my favourite model of the year for 2021, the Irish Railway Models A-Class. There's no doubt this video would have ranked much higher if it had been released earlier in the year, but at least the model has got the acknowledgement it deserves and is at least appearing somewhere on this list. This video provided an overall view of the A-Class range, excluding the A1 which was handled in a separate video. This is the definitive starting place for someone interested in the A-Class model. Number 7 is the review video of my new favourite Class 57, the Backman Class 57 6, 32 756 ASF, with the locomotive name of Restore Mill Castle in the Great Western Green livery with DCC sound. It was no real surprise for me to see this video ranked so high on the list, and 7th overall is probably the right place for it. A very nice model and a very good video to check out this model. Number six on the list is my review video of the disappointing Hornby Class 390 of Anti Pendolino, uh, the R3952 four-car train pack. 
uh, which received an awful lot of comments when I released it. It's probably a shame that negative videos can be more popular than positive ones. A negative assessment, however, was due here, and I'm afraid the video appears to have resonated with a lot of owners. The key message of this video is clear. This model should have been better, particularly when you factor the increased price. And so we move into the top five videos on the channel for 2021. At number five, we have a review I did at the start of the year on the Hornby Class 50 range from 2003 to 2020. I don't think I've seen any other videos on YouTube that cover the Class 50 range like this, so given the popularity of this locomotive, there's no surprise in this being a popular video in 2021. Number four on the list is another negative video in the form of my review of the R4996 Mark III DVT in the Intercity Swallow livery. Videos outlining a model's faults always appear to do well, but I'm thankful to say that they were in a minority on the channel this year. This video hopefully captured most of what was wrong about Hornby's R4996 DVT and hence has got a lot of viewing on the channel. I believe the top three is going to surprise a lot of people, starting with number three, which was a video I did on three things that Dapol have done that I would like to see adopted by the rest of the manufacturers. A slightly different video than my usual, but again its success is noted in terms of future content I might cover. Number two on the list is one I thought might go all the way this year, and that was the video covering the increase in model prices from between 2011 and 2021. This video has resonated with a lot of viewers, and the results were even more startling than I had thought they might be. I have a few more videos of this sort to come in the year ahead. In the end, this video missed out due to another 2020 video, and in this instance, The Ghost of Christmas Past was a review of my bad experience with the Hatton's Class 66. I never expected to see the level of interest in this video continue into 2021, and certainly didn't expect to see it achieve top spot for the second year running. People appear to be still obsessed over the Hatton's Class 66, and so this video has done very well this year. But there you have it. After a total of 58 videos in 2021, the most popular one on the channel was actually one from 2020. I don't think that's a true reflection on the year, however, as quite a number of videos in the second half of the year in particular have been very well received. Direct feedback on the videos you most liked is always welcome, and many thanks to those who have already commented. Like a lot of you, I'm really looking forward to what's coming in 2022, and I certainly hope to be covering some of the more significant ones on this channel. It will be interesting to see the 2022 announcements from both Hornby and Backman in the next few weeks, though if past performance is anything to go by, half of those models won't hit us until 2023. I hope you all have a happy, healthy and successful new year. Please join me during the year to take a closer look at some of the best new models coming our way. Looking forward to seeing you on the next one, and in the meantime, happy modelling.